And we do want to move now to a story that broke overnight, the end of the manhunt for a teenager from Florida who's being called a person of interest in the death of his grandmother. He was arrested thousands of miles away from his home, allegedly trying to cross the border into Canada. And ABC's Janae Norman is in studio with more. Janae, good morning to you. Good morning. He is just 15 years old, the son of a sheriff's office lieutenant now being investigated for murder. Overnight, a teenager suspected of killing his 53-year-old grandmother in his father's Jacksonville home was caught. Seen here in this recent photo shared by Jacksonville officials with a newly shaved head. We need to interview him to discuss what happened at the home. Jacksonville Sheriff's Office confirming that wanted 15-year-old Logan Mott is now in custody, detained by Customs and Border Protection, trying to enter Canada in his grandmother's Dodge Dart. Mott had traveled over a thousand miles from Neptune Beach, Florida to Buffalo, New York, where he tried to cross the Canadian border and was eventually stopped by Customs. Authorities had warned Mott was believed to be armed and dangerous. Firearms were taken from the home on Seagate, so extreme caution should be taken. Now police seeking answers from Logan, a person of interest in the death of his grandmother, Christina French. The two were supposed to pick up his father from the airport Wednesday, but they never showed up. Eric Mott, a lieutenant with the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, returned to a ransacked home, firearms missing, and no sign of his son or his mother. Police making a gruesome discovery as they search the home for clues. The processing of the home on Thursday revealed evidence of foul play and potential criminal violence inside, and then late in the day, a potential grave site outside the body believed to be grandmother Christina French Logan's mother Carrie Campbell Mott telling ABC News in a statement that no matter what Logan is our child and we love him and are standing by him to help in any way and Mott and his grandmother Krista French were first reported missing when Logan didn't show up to school on Monday and at this point a positive identification is still pending until a full autopsy is complete sad story all Awful around story. Janae Thanks, thank Janae. you very much Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.